Sex Magicians by Michael William West. Right, the, this is this is a great little piece. Again, if you are uh, someone who appreciates sex magic, um, we have the we have the foreword here by Carl Abrahamson, uh, author of A Culture. Um, we have another book review of his coming up. Uh, Carl will also be on the show uh, discussing his new work on Levee. So do check out for that episode. But in this, this is, again, this is not a practical manual. This is not the kind of book you buy if you are looking to get into sex magic. This is very much along the lines of Stephen Flowers' Lords of the Left Hand Path. It's a great book to get you into the psychology of the individuals, the thought leaders behind the magical movement of sex magic and how it has evolved over time. So in that sense, that is that is why you might be interested in getting this book. Uh, it is not a technique driven book. You're not going to be learning any serious techniques here um, that's going to be of serious value to you. So we start off this, this piece very quickly, you know, just in terms of his introduction. And he gives a very good insight in his own journey into sex magic, as well as, you know, the interpretation of trying to make sense of it and bring it out to the front. And then he just dives into, you know, the context of it. And he starts bringing in terms of Pascal, Beverly Sundle, one of the greatest influencers during the period of 1825 to 1875, exploring him, his views and his ideas, and then moving on to Ida Craddock, Aleister Crowley, Maria then Naklovska, as we know, one of the most probably famous, inf most famous influencers on it, you know, including her Hanged Man Wright and many others, Austin O.S. Speyer, um, and how he really kind of pioneered sigil magic and the practices of sex magic. So it's a very interesting, and even though I say there's no technique really here, you're not going to learn naturally a, a magical system or process, you will be gaining a lot of the psychology behind these people, how those ideas well up, where those assumptions came from, and how that formulated that landscape of that thinking, thus allowing you to pretty much come up with more of your own. Julius Evola, which again is a very um, influence, especially in terms of his metaphysics, of sex, uh, Franz Bardone, and then moving onwards to the classic well-known Jack Parsons, um, you know, great student of uh, Crowley, uh, as well as a, a, an innovator, and in some cases, a crazy person, right, depending on your point of view. Um, but Jack Parsons, interesting, if you haven't watched A Strange Angel uh, yet, to get a copy of that to explore, like a, that series, to explore a little bit the earlier life of Jack Parsons before he really took the magic much more seriously. William Burroughs, um, Marjorie Cameron, Anton LaVey, of course, you cannot have a book on sex magic without the classic old devil, and then Janice P. Orridge, a little bit more of a modern closing portion. This is, a, a again, like it's a really lovely um, piece of reading. It's going to explore a lot of these different archetypes in the clean way and, and highlight a lot of the developments that occurred alongside the process, the work. So if you really want to explore those and just get a good hand uh, insight of those those brilliant minds, this brilliant influence around the area of sexual magic. This is definitely a book that you would love to check out. Again, this is a, a more not for, not I'd say something for the beginner. Um, this is something for somebody that's more established in terms of sexual magic. Uh, they've gone through the fundamentals and they're really looking to deepen their insider expression without necessarily maybe pre deep diving into a specific author just yet. So it's kind of like a I would say a mid level point in your magical practice uh, in, in the area of sex magic, not maybe your last, but he does also at least reference, you know, the books that he himself referenced in coming up with these insights and these ideas. So definitely a nice, you know, classic little bit of a read, something to add to the library um, if you're trying to build a nice kind of classic collection to flesh out your research on sex magic. That's by Michael William West. I've always felt a little different. A little uneasy between regular folk. A bit of a dreamer, a lost cause. A little non-ordinary, some would say. I think I've always just been this way. My mother said I was special. My father thought I should be feared. But I knew that witchcraft coursed through my veins the first time I tasted the lips of the goddess inside the rain. Yes, I'm a witch, it's true. And sure, we are the ones who believe in the beauty of nature believe in the things science absent of art cannot explain, who instead of religion would have romance, 
And sure, you may think we have lost our way, when in the world of predictable things we have such unfamiliar things that we would like to say. But maybe in a world so cold and alone, a little unfamiliar is exactly what is needed to show us the way home.